guys, it's me Blake from Beyond Reviews and in this episode we're going to review the Manfrotto B3 Video Fluid Head Tripod. Stay tuned. And now for the review of the Manfrotto B3 Live Video Fluid Head Tripod. What I like about it right away, first off, is it's got a bigger bag than the last one. Uh, the previous one that we reviewed, it was a bit smaller, it was hard to put inside, but now they have a bigger bag. And also, this comes with the new M-Lock twist system, the Manfrotto new locking system for the legs. And, well, our team, we brought this all over the Philippines and we have all agreed that we like the old system better because it's just like a latch so you know if it's really locked or not. Here you have twist, pull it out, twist, pull it out and lock. So this is how, how tall it's gonna get. And then I really, really like the way that fluid head is just, look at the way it pans and the tilt is right over here and it is great and I just want to test it out with the Nikon D600 with a 24 to 70 this was one of our very first cameras and we'll see how it handles this heavy camera on this tripod here okay so now let's put it to the test by the way one of the things that we really like about this is because it's got a really easy way to balance your shot especially when it's video it's very important that you can easily balance it and look at this it's it's got its own bubble right there so you can easily balance it and it's just twisting this gear right here is perfect for travelers travel vloggers and just for those even professional videographers who has mirrorless or DSLR cameras we just really want a light gear especially if you're gonna be hiking or climbing mountains it's very important you have something very light like this look at that so light and also it comes with this uh, shoe right here and, and it perfectly fits into the other Manfrotto video fluid head tripod so let's put it onto the D600 right here and this is a heavy camera I think I can tell it's about like what five pounds four pounds gotta have a coin Check it out, guys. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's see the pan. Okay. The tilt. All right. So here's a tip. It's kind of heavy in the front because this lens, this 24 to 70, 2.8, is really heavy. So when you do loosen this up, make sure you don't let go. Because look at that. Watch. Okay. But this is what I can say it can definitely take the load. All right, so let's test it out. Okay, let's do a panning shot. Let's roll this, breathe in, and blow, breathe out when you move. Pretty cool. Let me just make sure I'm on focus. Yeah, that's it. All right, let me do one more. Breathe in. There we go. That's pretty cool. All right, let me um, try some tilts. So my car's right over there. From tilt down to from up to down. Breathe in as well. And cut. All right, let me try from down and up. And 
cut. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try out some rack focuses. That's beautiful. Boom. 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 Cool. All right, let me try something closer here. Let me tilt it down. And now, check this one out. Our last thoughts of the Manfrotto B3 Video Fluid Head Tripod? Well, number one, the price is great. Very affordable, unlike the other Manfrotto uh, tripods out there, which can cost you a few hundred dollars. And number two, it's made out of really high quality material, which is fantastic, it's so durable. And number three, it is so light, you can take it everywhere. Do give it a try and see how light it is. Also, we'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment which locking system you like, the new M-Lock twist system, or the old standard way of locking it, which is the latch. Which one do you like most? We prefer the original version. Okay, so this is Blake signing out. Please hit the subscribe button, like and share, and leave a comment. Hope to hear from you guys. See ya.